to say that to say that this way she was aware the child was in the car around 4 20 p.m on june 10 2023 the serenity of panola county was shattered Quantella Towns, a 22-year-old woman from Como, Mississippi, arrived at Baptist DeSoto Hospital in South Haven with her lifeless one-year-old daughter. The authorities were immediately notified and officers from the Hernando Police Department, along with detectives and the county coroner, Josh Pounders, responded to the hospital to investigate. Early on, after several interviews, they noticed troubling inconsistencies in the mother's story. Based on their findings, a warrant was issued for Quantella's arrest on multiple charges including child deprivation of necessities with substantial harm, contribution to the neglect of delinquency of a child, giving a false statement to law enforcement, driving with a suspended driver's license, and not having a card as proof of insurance. On June 15th, the Panola County Sheriff's Department arrested Tongs at her residence and she was transported to the Hernando Police Department for further questioning and processing. Later, she was booked into the DeSoto County Adult Detention Center with her bail set at $100,000. While this case received limited coverage, it was even harder to find the child's name. After searching on social media, I found her father Nick's profile. The outpouring of love touched my heart as he wrote of the positive impact his daughter had on his life. It was clear he was proud to be a father. The man's family also expressed their love for the child and their grief over her loss. Remarkably, Nikasia's parents seem to have a good parenting relationship and her family and her father's family showed support for both parents following her passing. I didn't come across any posts from family members appearing to blame the mother or express ill will towards her. As the investigation continued, it was revealed that Quantella had left Nikasia unattended in a hot vehicle while she worked a full shift at Zaxby's in Hernando. The Soto County District Attorney Bob Morris expressed profound concern over the circumstances describing it as problematic and troubling security camera footage from the restaurant's parking lot played a crucial role in the investigation capturing the child's prolonged exposure to extreme heat it is especially troubling to have a child of this age uh, be exposed to the elements and to pass away. As a father and as a man who sees a lot of cases, this is one of the more egregious ones I've seen and it, it, it's very problematic and it's troubling. Let me just say that there were several conflicting statements until the detective became involved, at which point the scenario clarified and that the child had been left in the vehicle while she went into work. There was a good bit of video coverage of the location where the child had purportedly been found. Uh, the child was in a car for a substantial period of time. I don't think she set out to cause harm. I think she made a mistake in judgment. But I, but to say Authorities that, have stated say that, that way, they are awaiting the state the medical the examiner's car. report, which will provide crucial insight. Morris acknowledged the possibility of additional charges once the findings were released and said they'd then present the case to the grand jury. On July 3rd, Quantella posted $100,000 bond and as of this video is awaiting further legal proceedings. D.A. Morris emphasized the importance of using this heartbreaking incident as a teaching tool for parents and guardians. He urged them to take precautions and seek help if they are unable to find a safe place for their child during right. extreme weather conditions. Right. May the family and friends of Nikasia Kior Salisbury find solace in the happy memories and may her soul rest in perpetual peace. Thank you.